I used to know nothing about firearms. I used to know nothing about politics. I used to know nothing about how our laws were formed. And I had a vague idea of how our politicians actually worked. As part of the DC project, my hope is to be a conduit of information to help the politicians who are actually interested in learning what really works and what really serves people the best. In America, we hear about guns and we hear about gun laws. And I was absolutely that person who said, oh yes, another gun law, it's okay, it's America. We're never gonna lose our guns. What's another gun law? It doesn't affect me. And then I had kids. And once I had kids, I actually started learning about firearms because even though I didn't really know anything about firearms, we did have them in the home because my husband had them. But once we had kids, that changed the whole game for me. I had to learn about the firearms that were in my home. So I went out and I started training and I started learning about firearms. I got into shooting competitions. And I even became an NRA instructor as well as a safety officer. And I learned about firearms and understood that firearms are not the problem. I'm from Connecticut, so when Sandy Hook happened, my children were five and six. And as a mom, I cried and cried and cried. And the only way that I could stop myself from crying is to start researching and understand what causes violence. So I did just that. I went to the FBI, I went to the Department of Justice, I went to the Department of Education, and I looked at what they had to say. I didn't go to the NRA or the Brady campaign, which is where a lot of people get their information. I went to our government to find out what they had to say. You know what they had to say? They said it's programs. Programs to help stop violence, programs to help build community, and programs that will help people connect with one another. And that is the shortest version of, I, of why I can tell you or how I can tell you why I'm part of the DC Project.